Hey guys, we are at a mobile home where they complained that the air conditioner wasn't working like a day or two ago. Right now it's 62 degrees. They probably need the heat. Let's go in and see what's going on. Right now my blower's not working. So I'll get that's what I'm working on. See, I've got 10 kW. It shouldn't trip a 70 amp breaker. Unless my condenser is also on my 70 amp breaker and it looks like it is. Let's check outside. your back door right here okay hmm let me get something to put my knees on I already see that this coil needs cleaning Cobwebs galore. Get my meter. My trusty 680. Yes, it's kind of big, but I have learned to love that meter. Make sure I don't have any power. All right, next thing I'm going to do is check for ohms to ground bring 
it up a little bit. I'm picking up inconsistent mega mega ohms and sometimes kilo ohms. One point two mega ohms. Mm. Let's go ahead and check this capacitor. All right, it's supposed to be a 45 and 7.5. Looks like my red is for my Herm. My blue is for my fan. Check my Herm first. I've got, I don't know if y'all can see that, 44 microfarads. And 6.2 on the fan side. Neither of those are low enough to stop it. Hmm. It runs. But let me see with this running out here and those heat strips shouldn't run at the same time. Nope, it's not a heat pump. I should not have tripped the breaker. All right, right now I'm looking for a, there's water access right there. I was looking all over for it. I think I'm gonna go get them the proper capacitor. That 7.5 was just low enough for me to wanna replace it. And um, come back and I'm gonna let it run or try to let it run for a little while while I'm gone. I might check the breaker on the inside because she, she said she did run the heat and it set off her smoke alarm. Yeah, that don't want to 
budge. Let me get that. It don't look burnt, but I need to pull it out anyway. good here now I gotta get that back in sometimes those can be persnickety oh look at her I have gone to go pick me up. Whew, that's dangerous. That panel can make contact with power and maybe touch a line set or something and blow a hole in the line set. That's why it's dangerous. Not that that's happened to me. Yes, it has happened to me. That can take a 20 minute call and turn it into a two and a half hour call. No power. All right, it looks like a 5 16th. This thing uses odd colors. Red is for Herm and blue is for Fan. Uh oh. Better find that before I lose it. here works at night and her kids run wild in the house while she's here and she's trying to sleep I told her just go back to bed I think everything I need to do is out here Somebody can read it. All right. You know what? Put this up here. All right, blue goes to fan. is right here. Red goes to her. I'll tell you what. Let's put those on last. Because these two right here go in the back. Nope, they go right here. Red goes to her. Fan. 
and where it goes to her. I think we're hooked up. <laughs> Alright, now I need to work on cleaning this coil. Let's see if these panels can just come off. Ooh, they can. Dang it, I dropped for it. Good luck. I'm not going to do it right here, but it's going to be a little bit better. I'm going to do it right here, but it's going to be a little bit better. This one's not a very good example. All right, so that was actually filmed the other day, and I got a call back on that one because it tripped the breaker again. I'm reluctant to just replace a breaker like that but i found nothing i went i checked heat strips i checked everything again there was nothing that could cause that trip that breaker to trip i replaced the breaker and i haven't had a call back and that was like four or five days ago so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did have a like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one